Hello. Today I want to talk about uh, something that uh, I get asked a lot. If it's possible to mount servo drives on the rig, which, uh, for example, on my rig, there's a little space above the pedals, so I can probably mount to uh, to mounting uh, racks right above and everything is going to be nice and organized and the cable is going to be running shorter um, well the issue with that is uh, these are not really rated uh, for such vibrations um, this motion system will <laughs> rattle the bejesus out of you it's really strong um, uh, the motion software can provide so much details the vibrations sample some still to see but you can feel them and i'm sure the connectors on these servo drives can feel it too what i'm saying is um these are not really rated for such level of vibrations that's why you have them sitting uh, static outside you know even if have they have screws on them it's just to make sure they don't get, get pulled accidentally not uh, for vibrations um, and another one you also have to mount controller for example the USB controller has a USB connector like this which it's not for vibrations um, after a long time the pins um, if you keep bending it, they're going to get all soft and uh, it's going to be losing contact. Also, even if you use the screw terminal for the motor, for example, so this is the power cable, a spades. Um, if the screws get loose for any reason, you can just come off and touch to another next to it or something. And the same happens with uh, the motor power cables, multiple ones. It's something may come loose, and you have an issue. Now, um, I have everything outside, and then everything is connected near the motors with uh, aviation plugs. These round ones, they can withstand uh, vibration, and they're very secured. They have a little screw that goes on, so it's like really solid and uh, um, firm connection, so it won't have trouble with vibration. Okay, so that's uh, the issue with this, you know, the, mostly the connectors. If you can somehow restrain the connections from moving, especially the flat ones, it somehow make sure that this one come off um, maybe I don't recommend it maybe if you put it vertically uh, so the most vibrations will be vertical the most uh, serious ones maybe the connector can sit if you can restrain the wiring somehow um, and uh, maybe somehow have uh, constraints for the usb connector as well it, it's generic all, all the connectors uh, they're not vibration related so they'll have to be secured somehow but uh, yeah it's possible uh, to do something like that and um, yeah i mean uh, probably will be better from a uh, perspective of noise or EMI or uh, ground loops because it's going to be all constrained in single pointer. Um, you probably have to make sure that the enclosures you have have metal plates around so they don't emit uh, even the little radiation from the self drives when they 
because the problem is not uh, the emit noise all the time, but for example, if a strong motion has to happen, uh, like every motor, it will generate some uh, noise, which momentarily interrupt communications, or maybe your virtual reality will gray out, or you can lose some USB connections for peripherals. Uh, never happened to me. Uh, maybe it's because of the why I have everything wired, which is a total mess. Everything is like all over the place. Uh, the power for everything, computers and servos, cost one plug. But uh, yeah, everything ends up in one power strip. Power for the servos, peripherals, PC, or here maybe. This is the reason I don't see that. There's no ground loops going around. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be complicated, but it can be done. Just have to make sure that uh, you don't get uh, any of these power cables loose, mostly. Um, I mean, even if you lose one of these connections, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, the worst case is uh, any electricity gets short circuit, but um, then again, you'll have to use something that has a fuse on it. Um, the it's a racing lab uh, line strip, which I use here on the back, it doesn't have actually fuse, just a switch. It has the line filter there. So I added a power box that has a normal fuse switch there. That's just ready for 10 amps. I don't need more for the, these uh, servos. And uh, a little panel so I can see consumption and uh, yeah, how much power used. And, yeah. Just uh, input, output, that's it. But yeah, something like that can be used to make sure nothing is gonna catch fire as an extra safety, except uh, wherever you may have on, a, on the wall and power box. So, yeah, that's my view on it. Um, it can be done. I wouldn't prefer it. I'd like something separate. The wires will have it really long, so it can extend all the way there. Look at all the extra wires, I just have coiled here, that I haven't used. Yeah, just saying. Will be long enough to make a cabinet on the wall, but it's there. Okay, well, thanks for watching.